Hello everyone. Today is Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. ADF Hunt. The situation is worse than before the state of siege and joint operations. Civil Society. This article is taken from 7 Sur 7. Civil society in the territory of Bini, North Kivu, was on Monday in a meeting to assess the FARDC UPDF military operations launched against the rebels of the Allied Democratic Forces ADF in the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The vice president of this citizen structure, Richard Karimba, points out that the social security situation is worse than before the state of siege, implemented last May in the provinces of North Kivu and Ituri Ed. The joint operations between the Congolese and Ugandan armies. The security situation is more degrading than before. Someone even asked us the question of before the state of siege and after the state of siege. So it is worse than before if you have to be honest. This means that the joint operations with the Ugandan army are almost in the same village, not to say in the same axis. It is in Mukakati that the presence of joint operations is felt. We come from the Watalinga. While the ADF have multiplied attacks against civilians on all axes, he declared, it should be recalled that the provinces of North Kivu and Ituri were placed under a state of siege in May 2021 by the President of the Republic, Felix Antoine Shisekedi Shilombo. This measure was reinforced by the signing of a security memorandum of understanding between the armed forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo and that of U Uganda. The objective is to annihilate the armed groups, including the ADF, in the east of the country. Since then, the army has welcomed the bombardments of rebel strongholds, while civil society has denounced the continued killings by the attackers in the region. And I feel this, this elder's pain. However, the security of any African country, in my uh, opinion, is the responsibility of the government. And um, what I think would be the solution here, and, and it's what I've been saying all along, um, you, you have two things, you have two things that are going on. What they're saying is that the the joint operations of the Ugandan army and the DRC army are on the offensive and they're bombing uh, camps and so forth while the insurgents are going to villages and killing people at will. And that's what I've been reporting. Um, you know, so they feel vulnerable. And then on top of that, it seems that they're, this area that this gentleman is from, this elder is from, is not getting any protection at all, whereas another village or other villages in, in another area are, are uh, getting some protection. So the bottom line is, um, I think they, I really believe that they should continue with the operation because this, this elder is criticizing the operation. Uh, but as I've been saying all along, the offensive against the insurgencies on the African continent will not be successful so long as enough boots on the ground are, are not employed. Be and I won't go into detail as I have before, but the bottom line is when it comes to protecting uh, the local populace, you need QRF um, groups, QRF Quick Reactionary Force. You need them strategically placed throughout uh, areas where you have civilians so that they can protect them. And uh, in addition to that, you need technology, be it drones, 
something, some kind of early warning uh, to these uh, quick reactionary forces so that they can respond in time. So uh, it could be drones, it could be what, whatever. I mean, you know, I don't want to go too, too much into detail because we don't want to uh, reveal all our secrets. But it, it, uh, I think that's what's missing here. Uh, and the, the main thing is enough people. And the, the bottom line is, I mean, it's obvious that there aren't enough people here, enough uh, troops to provide security for these people. And something has to give. Somewhere on the African continent, we need to get more troops to provide security and to uh, to to form QRF teams uh, that are encamped near all these villages so that they can protect them uh, on a moment's notice. And and if and worst case scenario, you know, you know, the, the villages should should have communication with these, you know, with the local team. You should also have a police force that's controlling the areas as a headquarters. And uh, the all of the villagers should have communications with that police force, that, that police station, which will dispatch the QRF that's closest to that area to, to uh, um, get rid of the, the threat. So uh, that's my take on it.